Hi gang, Dr. Tape here. Today we're going to be talking about really slippery tapes. Why would you need a really slippery tape? Well, say you have a process where you don't want oil or grease to contaminate your finished product. Say in food processing or pharmaceuticals, certain types of packaging or printing. You may also need a really slippery tape for a mechanical operation, say drawer slides or curtain rods or something like that where you don't want something binding up when it's operated. So when people think about slippery substances, the first thing that comes to their mind is Teflon. Teflon is actually a trademark of the DuPont Corporation, and we don't want to violate their trademark. So we're going to call it by its chemical name, PTFE, which is short for polytetrafluorethylene. And polytetrafluorethylene tape comes in a couple of different forms. The first is solid PTFE. And solid PTFE can be made a couple of different ways. It's generally used in electrical applications because PTFE is the world's best electrical tape. They use it in high temperature places like ovens or aircraft engines. Why? Because it can withstand up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit on a continuous basis. The second type of PTFE tape is uh, Teflon, I'm sorry, PTFE coated fiberglass cloth. This is used in situations where you want to heat seal plastic. The PTFE prevents the melted plastic from sticking to the machine and the fiberglass backing gives it a high level of temperature resistance. The last type of really slippery tape is UHMW. UHMW is a very dense very slippery form of polyethylene. The same thing they make most plastic bags out of. Um, this tape is 99% as slippery as PTFE, but it's much less expensive. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the electrical resistance or the temperature resistance that PTFE has. So where would you use UHMW? You would use this on the outfeed chute of a printing press or on a drawer slide. The other big difference between solid PTFE, PTFE coated fiberglass and UHMW is their durability. PTFE is very, very soft and it wears out very, very quickly. This is why you can't really use it in an application where it's subjected to friction, either by product sliding over it or use in a drawer slide, something like that. So I'm going to demonstrate using this razor blade. I'm scraping the solid PTFE, and you see very quickly it builds up residue as it's being scraped away. So now we'll do the same thing to the fiberglass, um, yes, to the fiberglass cloth with the PTFE on it. And it doesn't come up quite as quickly but it will wear out over time. Last but not least, we have the UHMW. And again, I'm scraping it and there's virtually no residue. The, P the UHMW is 10,000 times as abrasion resistant as the PTFE tapes. So here we have a very simple application for PTFE coated fiberglass cloth tape. This is a heat sealer. You take the plastic bag, normally you'd put something in the bag, but we're just using the plastic bag here. And you push down on the bar, and when you lift up, the bag is sealed. Little weld mark right there, see? Now you notice that the plastic released cleanly from the heated area. There's a little heated wire that runs underneath here, and that's what does the sealing. If you didn't have this, the bag would melt and it would get all over the heating element, causing a big, big mess. Covering heating elements in heat sealing equipment is the most common application for PTFE coated fiberglass cloth. We sell tons of it. 
for just this application. So remember, if you're looking for slippery, but you don't need high temperature, the way to go is with the UHMW. If you're looking for high temperature, but not necessarily electrical resistance, the way to go is with the PTFE fiberglass cloth. And if you're looking for electrical resistance, high temperature, and maybe a little bit of slippery, then the way to go is with the solid PTFE. This has been Dr. Tape. If you need more information, please feel free to contact me at 1-800-882-7348, and I'll try to solve your sticky problems.